The cake's good. Hello and welcome back to my office. And today, not only have I got a cup of tea with a very suitable moniker, the same person who gave me that, my daughter director, also has brought a special cupcake. That makes life so much happier. Now today, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a new computer. Because here is a new 24-inch iMac, which replaces my old 27-inch iMac. Why did I want to replace it? Well, it was crashing six times a day. I still don't know what the problems were with it, but basically it's got something that just isn't working with it. I've no idea. And because I can't afford to be without a keyboard, basically I had to replace it. So I thought a new iMac. So I thought it would also be quite fun to just talk a little bit about what is good and what isn't so good. First of all, I have to say the keyboard is very pretty and also not good. It just, yeah, it looks lovely. But if you've got that thin a travel for the keys, you're going to have problems if you're a fast touch typer like me. But what is really nice is this button up here, because with this button, I'm going to move around here slightly, all you do is you touch that button and it all comes on for you. Isn't that nice? However, as soon as I can, I'll be using this keyboard again, which is old, it's clunky, it makes a lot of noise and it works superbly well. What more can a chap ask for? That is what I wonder. So, here we have the first thing which I really, really, really like about this computer and that is an absolutely fantastic camera. Because not only do you see this, you can also see all my books behind me. And let me just demonstrate, because I do like doing this. See, because this is the Templar series with a few others at the far end. And then this is Templar series with Blackjack. And then these are Medieval Murderers and a few other things I've collaborated on, such as The Sinking Admiral and then short story collections. And then at the very top, there's those four or five books which are short stories. So, just behind me, now when I'm on Zoom meetings and the like, people can see all my books. Cheap marketing. Hey, I like it. Not only have I got my books behind me, I've also got, which you can't really see there, but on my standing desk, there's three piles of books. And I'd like to say thank you to Robert, to Robert and Spyro for ordering 10 books from me this week. Because it's nice when people buy books from me. So, what else do I like about this computer? I do like the way that the screen can be angled and tilted. That's nice. I like the format, the wide format. I have to admit... The difference between that and the old 27 inch, 24 to 27 inch, this feels perfectly big enough. Now when I bought the 27 inch I originally went in and I was going to buy a 21 and a half inch computer. When I got it home I realised I couldn't use it. I had to literally turn the car around, go back and swap it for a 27 inch. I just couldn't cope with that smaller form factor. This I find is just about perfect. Not only is the screen extremely good, the sound is stunning because I used to have the old Harman Kardon speakers, two little tall slim speakers and a big subwoofer around behind. Now I have speakers here and speakers here, six apparently, 
and it sounds as good as the Harman Kardons. It's superb. I really like it. The screen itself is crisp and very, very clear. It's a beautiful screen to look at. With the new Big Sur, S-U-R, is that Sur? I assume it is. Um, all of the icons that you have in the dock, all of the pretty little things, each of them is the same sort of shape. Now, I'm not a big one for the little details like that, but I guess it does look neater, a little bit. I do love the solid tilt mechanism. I love the slimness because it's only just over a, um, a centimetre thick. I really like the fact that it hasn't got a spinning disc inside. It's got SIM technology memory apparently and that is much much faster working. I have to admit I've bitten the bullet. I've never wanted to do this before but I've now taken on iCloud big time. As it stands right now the old computer there is chomping its way through backing up all of my photos onto iCloud. Because the one problem I've had with the new computer was that when you turn on a new iMac and you've got an old iMac there is a piece of software called Migration Assistant which will suck all the data off one and plonk it onto the new one. So life should be easy. It takes a while. I've got 1.4, no, 140 gigabytes of music, for example, on my iTunes. Pulling that across took about 12 to 15 hours, I think. So there are minor difficulties. The biggest problem that I had was, for some reason, when I looked at photos on the new iMac, it hadn't pulled across all of the photos from my old list. So it... I had 28,000 photos on the old machine. It drew forward 20,000 photos, missing 8,000. <clears> Why those 8,000? I have no idea. There weren't duplicates. There were nothing like that. It was. It decided, for example, not to bring over any of the photos from my trip to New Zealand last year when I was visiting my brother as he was dying. Those photos mean a lot to me. I'm not going to lose them. So I thought, getting onto iCloud, back up everything from this computer onto iCloud, and then I can pull everything back down from iCloud onto the new one. That should work, but it is taking a long time, and I spent two and a half hours this morning talking to Apple to try to figure out what was going wrong. No definitive answers, but at least Apple support are very, very useful and knowledgeable. So, thanks a lot, Apple. Big tick for your helpfulness. Less of a tick for losing 8,000 photos. Anyway, so that's good. And all of the software I need seems to be working still. So I've got my Scrivener, Nicest Writer Pro, and IA Writer. That was the smack on the nose of a little Rhodesian Ridgeback who was expressing great interest in a cupcake if you heard that. For video editing, I've got DaVinci Resolve 17, which is fantastic piece of software, it has to be said. And yes, there's nothing else particularly exciting on here. But my experience so far is that it is a brilliantly fast, very, very attractive, highly effective computer. I'm disappointed I couldn't get all of my photos across first time, but you know, these things do happen. There are glitches when you're uploading to a new system. But it has to be said that this new system is superb. I'm very, very impressed with it. So what have I been doing for the last few weeks? Mostly gardening. I ache all over 
and my back is burned. But it's fun to be out in the garden. It has to be said, my desk, once I've got rid of the old computer and I can just have the one keyboard, which will be this keyboard on my desk, life will be a lot easier. It also has to be said that there are complications with these new devices, such as the fact that it hadn't occurred to me, but when you get this nice new machine, you have four, two Thunderbolt and two USB ports in the back, which I'd registered. What hadn't registered with me was that they would not be a standard USB connector, such as, this might take a moment. <laughs> I haven't got a spare one, hold on. Such as one of, these because the new iMac doesn't make use of things like this it has this type of USB connector which is rather smaller you could swallow one of these in one of these so what to do the first thing I realized when I had the machine arrive and I unplugged it was I had to go and buy some new connectors but the keyboard company who are a wonderfully helpful firm sent me two adapters which I've been able to use and they work fine most of the time one of them didn't want to work with my keyboard in one of the slots at the back of the computer odd but now it seems to be okay. However, I'm probably going to get a new Bluetooth keyboard from the keyboard company because they have one that is similar to this. It is loud, clackety, uses Cherry MX, I think, blue keys, which have a delicious little crackle when you're pressing on them. So you can tell immediately they register you you've got an automatic feedback on your fingers. And because they're keys that move a good few millimeters, it's infinitely better for touch typing than something like this, which is pretty, but it's not. Really... This keyboard works fine. Why am I going for one of the other Bluetooth types? Purely for my own ease of use because this has an MS-DOS layout. I've learned over the years where the difference is, but this has this wonderful fingerprint on button, which can also be used for buying things. So it'll recognize your fingerprint and it saves having to carry your credit card around all the time when you're at, even at your desk. So although a new keyboard Bluetooth with Apple layout and everything is gonna make life a lot easier, this will always be in the background so that I can just use that if I need to. So that's fun. I should also say I really like this new trackpad, which has a slightly odd feel to it compared to the old one because it seems to have a sort of a double click when you press. I was getting very confused with that when I first started because I was double clicking on things to, for example, move items from my applications files to the dock. And it seemed to keep dropping the things. But now I've realized that you press it gently for the one click, move things across, they'll go in the dock, that's fine. And if you press it double, it tends to open up the, the document and do something different. I'll get used to it. So, what does a USB connector look like? You can pay 15 to 20 quid for these. Or, if you go to the keyboard company, they're £7.99. So I bought a pair of them. 
I should just say I am not paid by Apple. They don't sponsor me. They don't help me. Likewise, the keyboard company has no relationship with me. I don't get paid by them. They don't even give me freebies. I had to buy these. But I've had experience with the keyboard company for some years and I find they're really good. And one thing that really pleased me was when I discovered that Terry Pratchett bought all his keyboards from them too. So what's not to like? <laughs> That's good. And that, in short, is... That, in short, is my opinion of the new iMac. Basically, I love it. I think the camera is superb. The screen is very, very good. The form factor, the actual shape of the screen, works enormously well for me. The sound is so good I've been able to get rid of a lot of space on my desk because I don't need the old speakers. And it's bright yellow and it wakes me up in the morning when I see it because it looks pretty. What more can I say? I think I can say I should now go and eat my cupcake and refill my cup of tea because it's getting a bit low. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that was interesting mostly. If you've got any questions on the new iMac and you want to ask me, do please put a comment in down the bottom. I'll be happy to answer them. But in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Hope that was useful. Do please hit the like and the subscribe and the bell button if you subscribe and then share it and tell your friends about it because it could be useful to someone, you never know. And apart from that, I'm now going to go finish my cup of tea, have a cupcake and then get on with more work. Thanks a lot. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>